Hi, uh, Uncivilized Vitality here, and we're going to talk about um, proper movement and uh, fitness. And one of our uh, one of our three main tenets for movement, of course, is uh, learning to move properly is vital. Learning to move like a like a human being, um, natural movement patterns. And then number two is moving on purpose. And then number three is making friends with the floor. We're going to talk about that. I want to talk about um, move on purpose. Right. So the number two. Uh, number two tenant in our movement uh, advice, okay, uncivilized movement advice. Um, Pre-civilized and uh, ancient uh, human beings, uh, hunter-gatherers, they didn't exercise. They didn't even have a word for exercise. Uh, they just, they, they stayed fit and uh, trim by moving around, doing their act, uh, ADLs, activities of daily living, which included a lot of different, uh, very physical uh, labor or physically intensive uh, activities that we don't really necessarily do nowadays. We have to set aside that special time to go to the gym and, uh, you know, do our, our special uh, exercises with our special outfits. Um, we're trying to get away from that in the uncivilized vitality uh, advice for fitness. So we talk about moving on purpose, uh, just like those pre-civilized hunter-gatherers, they had something to get done. One of the things you can do is set yourself a task, and I know this seems kind of trite or cliche to say, uh, park farther away in the parking lot. Uh, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Those little things add up over the day. Right? One of the things uh, we're going to talk about is the power of uh, this range here. Just five to ten minutes. Okay, five to ten minutes a day. Any movement really. You could work on your climbing skills. Uh, that means hanging, uh, pop ups, power ups, pull ups, swing ups. You could work on um, vertical climbs. You could work on uh, foot pinch hangs. You could maybe choose to work on jumping or vaulting skills or balancing skills. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to pick a skill, uh, any skill, and you're going to work on it for uh, five minutes. Okay? Now that's going to be five minutes of effort. So I suggest, um, you can do it different ways. You could just work on a skill at a low intensity for five to ten minutes. Uh, some gentle balancing things for ten minutes in the day when you got a break between patients or whatever, or whatever it is you do and uh, <clears throat> do that. Or you can take five intense minutes. Um, there used to be some really uh, cool uh, interval training concepts that went around a few years ago with BJ Penn, actually it's been more than a few years, a uh, decade or so, called uh, Fight Gone Bad, which was like the Tabata, but he did, instead of 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest, he was doing five minutes of uh, intense, uh, heavy, intense work. So um, there's things like that. But I say take five minutes, and then get yourself an interval timer. Let me let me grab mine. This is the Gym Boss uh, Max. Um, there's lots of different ones out there. I like this one because it's like fifteen or twenty dollars on Amazon uh, or from GymBoss.com. Uh, this is the Mini Max, I think. Uh, Gym Boss uh, interval timer. You can do several uh, intervals: one, two, three interval training. You set a there's a countdown watch, a stopwatch, and such. But um, the interval that I like to use or advise people to use is the 30 30. Okay, so this would be 30 seconds on, or you're working, and then 30 seconds uh, resting. Okay, repeat that 10 times, and that'll give you uh, five minutes of actual work, and then five minutes of rest built in. And then you can do several things. You could do um, push ups, for instance, just get down on the ground. For 30 seconds till your gym boss beeps, just work on some push-ups or some quadrupedal movement, you know, crawling around, um, hand and foot crawl, maybe the crab crawl. Uh, work on some of your, your animal flow um, techniques, kind of slow. And then you rest for 30 seconds, then you go again. Uh, another good one to build up a lot of uh, satchel plane extension strength and flexion is the simple kettlebell swing. Swing the kettlebell for 30 seconds, and timer beeps, rest for 30 seconds. You can knock these out with uh, high, low, or medium intensity in these little bits. Um, so you can just do this to kind of shake off the stiffness from sitting at a desk, or you can use this to, to uh, twice a day to get 10 minutes of intensive exercise. Uh, if you do that every day, take one rest day, that's an hour of high intensity exercise, uh, but it doesn't take up a huge portion of your day, uh, yet you're getting your strength training, your high intensity training, or just some generalized movement in through the day. You could do the same thing and do 20 rounds. 20 rounds will give you 10 minutes. Maybe you're doing a medium intensity. Uh, then you get 10 minutes of uh, regular work. So I like the intervals um, 5 to 10 minutes for my high intensity, 
five for high intensity. I go 10 when I'm doing uh, medium intensity. And then when I'm on my low intensity, I'll get at least uh, 20 minutes uh, for low intensity. Okay. Uh, 20 minutes, 20 to an hour. So that's when I, like, I go for my evening walk. Sometimes I'll just walk to the bottom of the hill and back 20 minutes. Sometimes I'll just sort of uh, um, kind of power walk through the back, uh, down the trails and out the, uh, the back 40 there. Um, sometimes medium intensity, I'll work on some, uh, I do this one a lot. I'll take 10 minutes out of my day uh, here at the, the clinic between patients. I'll set my timer for 10 minutes and then I'll just get down on the floor and do some um, medium to low intensity ground movement. Um, what you'd probably call stretching or, or different releases. And then um, probably not once a day, but probably every other day, I'll get a five minute intensity. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, or I'll maybe do um, one minute on, one minute off for 10 minutes. That way I get a little bit longer work intensity durations. But moving on purpose doesn't have to take a whole, a whole chunk of your day. Maybe start thinking about it in these five, 10 and 20 minute uh, blocks that you can break in through the day. Intervals. Get yourself a, an interval timer, or I'm sure you can get a free app on a, on your phone or something. Start working your uh, movement into your day on purpose instead of setting aside those two nights a week where you go to uh, the gym and lift weights or do uh, yoga or um, jiu-jitsu or uh, go for that morning run. Uh, maybe try this in addition to those things so you can work in a little more movement on purpose. And the closer it can mimic your day, uh, or something you don't do naturally every day, uh, the better it would be because you're moving on purpose and you're building in those, those variety of movements. Try to avoid doing your favorites all the time. Uh, I save my short intense ones for things I just don't like to do, like burpees. Uh, just sometimes set the clock for five minutes, just see how many burpees I can do in five minutes. Um, not a big fan of burpees. Nobody is really, I guess. Um, and then things I like to do like uh, air squats and jumps. Sometimes I'll set that up at medium intensity uh, for 10 minutes, that way I can just kind of play around a little bit and get some movement or hang on the bars or try a new uh, balancing skill um, or uh, release a tight muscle, maybe in my back or my hip because I've been sitting too long or, or, or doing something repetitious through the day. Avoid those uh, uh, repetitive motion injuries we talked about in another video, or I don't know if we did a video on that. I think we might've talked about it one of the chapter meetings. Anyway, moving on purpose can be as simple as five, 10 or 20 minutes out of your day. You could even repeat a couple intensities, do two, uh, two a days. Um, you can get the work done and stay nice and fit. If you try to find things that mimic like hunter gatherer, go to the park, walk up and down the hill for 20 minutes. Uh, maybe carry some heavy weight up and down the hill for 10 minutes. Maybe do some sprints up the hill for five minutes. All you need is a few minutes of time and a hill and you're all set. So uh, if you like that little tidbit and you want to see more of those things and um, uh, exploring the rest of the Uncivilized Vitality Health and Wellness Program, like the video, share the channel, the video, the channel, subscribe to the channel. Um, what else? Notifications, um, leave comments, um, communicate with uh, Logan, uh, administrator, directly uh, if you want to join us at one of our events. Or if you're feeling uh, donate -y, as always, you can go and make a, a donation at the uncivilizedlivingfoundation.org. Uh, help us raise money so that we can take um, members of special needs or populations in need that don't normally get to enjoy the outdoors due to circumstances. Uh, we'll provide that camping experience for them on guided outdoor events. So uh, that's it.